going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Some News, baby. Hey, take five time. Today we've got four PC mods in testing. We've got 24 console mods in testing. With all those 12 mods were released today. Giant Software going live on Twitch soon, showing off a lot more Farm Sim 22. Agritano updates us on their F350. Pepe 978's John Deere 50G could be out tomorrow. FS Modding show final progress on their Lizard RT. Steve's Mods is bringing back a very popular map for Farm Sim 17. Plus, GB Modding wants your help. Let's check it out. It's SD4 PC. We have La Campaign Bell Trailer, Medium Hall, Wasteland, and Wind Turbine Pack. It's SD4 Consoles. We have a pack of Modern Metal Fences, American Life Barn Pack, Barn Pack, CNG Bell Fork Pack, Controllable Weight Attacher Joint, not a pack, Farm Supply Pack, ah, oh, it's a pack, Vaccino Map, Victorberg, Fuel Tank Lizard T5000C, The Wheel DDD, Double Bell Transport Spike, John Deere 7R Trike Series, Lizard Quad Bear 3, 54x4, Massey Ferguson 265, Massey Ferguson 3105 Phantom, Massey Ferguson 8600, New Holland 8066, Old Kiwi Farm, Refurbished Bunker Silo, SO14, Scooter, Trans Tank 120 48 TC Pack, Tunnel Sheep House, Ultra A4 Series Brazil, and Wayside Cross. With all that being said, we only have six Mod City waiting to be tested, but the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods, well, that hasn't changed. One work day. In addition to the mods and testing, 12 new and updated mods were released least today on the end game mod hub including the massey 1200 1250 and the case h luxum i've already made a video showing these off you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below today giant software will be live streaming over on their twitch account showing off more stuff coming with farming simulator 22 they will be officially unveiling the new fridge map showing off more gameplay from the trailer and more Giant Software will also be revealing more details about the game, showing out more gameplay of FS22 that we haven't seen yet, things that we don't know yet. There will also be some unannounced features presented. I'm going to be doing a review video right after the live stream, so if you missed their live stream, don't worry. You'll find out everything that happened on that video, so stay tuned for that. Farming Simulator 22 will be released on Monday, November 22nd, 2021. If you guys are on PC and want to pre-order the game or the year one season pass, check out the links in the description below. Make sure you guys use code DJGOHAM. That link goes to help support the channel and no additional cost to you. And 100% of proceeds for FS22 pre-orders go back into the channel for giveaways so that if you can't get the game, you're going to have a chance to get one in one of the giveaways. Speaking of the year one season pass, it is also now available on Steam and Epic Games, so if you would like to pre-order there, you can do so. However, the Giants version of the game will be featuring an auto-updater system, so the game will always be kept up to date, and you're likely going to be able to play earlier than the Steam or Epic versions as well, since Giants have 100% control over that version. It's up to you, but I will tell you that I will be using the Giants version of Farming Simulator 22 on PC. If you're looking for some more new information on Farming Simulator 22 today, well, we got you covered. Yesterday, the company Birdown officially announced its partnership with Giant Software for Farm Sim 22. So we already knew about this. We already knew they were going to be working together, and it was announced all the way back in Agritechnica 2019. We just didn't know what was going to happen with that, and uh, we got to see them at FarmCon presented last month as well. Either way, we are off to a great start, and it is great to see their self-propelled sprayer and their trailed sprayer come into the game. Which, by the way, do you guys see the tram lines? That's very interesting. Another company that we knew that was coming to Farm Sim 22 is Zader. However, we didn't know about this beauty right here, the Zader 25. As part of their 75th anniversary celebrations, they are preparing a contest to make all fans of Farming Simulator 22 happy. Over the next few weeks, Zader will be giving away 75 codes to get this tractor in Farm Sim 22. And to find out how to get one of those, check out the link below beside Zader to learn more. Are you still? hungry for Farm Sim 22 news? Well, this time around, 82 Studio has you covered. That's right. Today, he released a new video going over the screenshots and information that we received yesterday. But what makes this video different from, say, my video that I released yesterday? Well, simply put, he is a modder and I'm not. I see the world through the eyes of the players and what they would be looking for and looking at, where David sees things from the point of view from a mod creator, someone who can see past what is on the surface and really dig in deep. So if you're wanting a fresh and completely different perspective on the new information and screenshots that we got yesterday in Farm Sim 22, make sure you check out the link below in the description. It's on A2StudioYT. Now, moving over to something that's not Farm Sim 22 related, the F350 Super Duty pickup truck from Agritono for Farm Sim 19. They've been working hard on the update to the truck and say that the only thing left to do 
is update the single cab version and then they're going to be finished it'll be sent off to mono for testing as you can see here from the four-door version they have made it to where you could go for more and more stock look and really turn up the heat and go for an all-out big off-road version the mod will also have a service module and a flatbed for hauling around bells or whatever you want to put on the back of it and you'll even have the option to hook up to the nmc snowplow to clear your local roadways in the winter. With all these different options, which one are you gonna be going for? I'm thinking something like this right here. Nice, simple, but err. However, that's just the four-door version. What about the single cab? Well, this has gotten a big upgrade as well with different chunky tires, new tailgate, toolbox, exhaust, snorkel, and lighting in the grill and on top of the truck as well. This is one of the most popular trucks on ModUp right now, and the update's been worked on for a while now. You guys have been looking forward to it, myself included, so it's going to be great to see this once it is finally available to all players. Here's something that a lot of you guys have been asking me about, the John Deere 50G. Pepe978, the creator, has posted over on the Italian Farm Sim group on Facebook about the John Deere 50G mini excavator, and it looks to me like it's going to be released tomorrow. Now, it's not out of the ordinary to see a mod or a handful of mods to be released over the weekend, whether it be Saturday or Sunday, as Giants can just schedule the mod to come out whenever they want, whether they're in the office or not. So be a lookout for this one tomorrow. They're saying something about it being released around noon tomorrow in Italian time, which is six hours ahead of the United States East Coast. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out on the mod up tomorrow morning, and I'm going to wake up early just in case that it's released. If it is, I'll be working on a video for you guys tomorrow morning. FS Modding has posted tons more screenshots over the past few days for their Lizard Thunder RT. However, they haven't really said anything. So rather than releasing like three screenshots every day this week with nothing to say about it, I held them all for today. However, FS Modding beat me to the punch and released a statement today saying that the mod is in the final stages right now and is going to be sent off for testing the in-game mod for all platforms soon and we've got some map news as well starting off with steve's mods and his upcoming map conversion thornbrook for those of you that played farming simulator 17 on pc you may remember thornbrook from there by lancy boy well steve's mods has been giving full permission to bring the map to farm sim 19 or even farm sim 22 depending on what the conversion uh takes place and how long it's gonna take just needs to get finished that's all this was a really cool map in farm sim 17 i played it i'm sure you guys did as well by none other than the man himself, Sir Lancy Boy. So I'm all in for it. This will be welcomed with open arms. And lastly today, after the successful release of his new map adding in park yesterday, GB Mining wants your help. He's curious if anyone has found any problems, mistakes, or issues with the new map so far, whether you're on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC or Mac. If you have any, stop by the link in the description below beside GB Modding. That's going to take you to his Facebook page. Uh, he does ask that before sending in any reports or issues or mistakes, make sure that it's not a mod conflict on your end or on the game's end. And to make sure that you get either a picture or video uh, as much as you possibly can to show off the problem occurring. That way he can help correct it as soon as possible and get that fixed to the public. I've logged in well over 10 hours on this map so far, just from the pre-release version, not even the version that released yesterday. And I got nothing so far, but there could always be one or two things hiding. So just keep an open eye out. And keep an open eye out for wild self-aware segues to the outro. They're running around crazy. Oh no, there's one now, go! Just like you ever said before, I've lost my mind. Links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is gonna be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, Hey DJ, where's that thing at? Get out of here, K-Bot. Just means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please defer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. This is going to be a very, very busy weekend. I have not even had time to record the Return 2 series, and I think we're going to have enough uh, Farm Sim 22 information coming out today and tomorrow regardless, plus mod videos, hopefully. So we're going to be doing the Return 2 series next weekend. Just be stay tuned for that. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Tell you what, all this new Farm Sim 22 information is making my brain go crazy.